Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about how to create a clean looking product video just like this. Thanks so much for tuning back in everybody. My name is Sam Keeney. If you're new here, we are almost to 200 subscribers on the channel. So if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. So if you clicked on today's video, then I'm sure that you have an interest in product videos. They've become increasingly popular ever since quarantine started. There are so many different ways for you to make awesome looking product videos right in the comfort of your own homes. But a lot of times, if you're like me, you might get a little bit too crazy with your ideas, which is why I'm taking it back to the basics today, using a very clean, simple black backdrop and a Corona beer. So let's actually take this to the computer and take a look at some of the editing techniques that I use to make this video pop and stand out a little bit more. All right, so let's jump into Premiere Pro and check out our final sequence for this video. All right, so here we have our main timeline. As you can see, this isn't a very complex timeline at all. We have our main clips up above here. We have our main music track down here below, and then we have all of our sound effects, which I've gone ahead and just colored purple just to make it easier for me to see. But if you actually look closely at the sequence, you'll see that we have some of these green clips around here, and these are actually nested sequences. So I actually have already opened all of these, but if I were to double click, basically, what this is going to do is just open up a bunch of nested sequences that are inside of itself and the reason for this is because I had a lot of effects that went into this first shot so let's take a look at our first shot so this is the raw footage of the first shot here let's go ahead and open this up and play this back so as you'll see we just have a two lights there's a light behind here and then there's a light over to the side so this is kind of giving that glow on the bottle now our main key light is out of frame right now but as you'll see in this behind the scenes footage here it's I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that light on and all that's gonna do is bring this label into frame you see we have our backdrop playback backdrop so nothing crazy so there is actually no light sweeping across this bottle like you see in our opening sequence so the way that I achieved that was actually quite complex. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first nested sequence here. So the first thing that we wanna do with our clip is to create a mask around the bottle. So I already have done this, but just for the point of this example, I'm gonna go ahead and collect, click our uh, raw footage here. I'm gonna find that in our timeline. I'm gonna drag this footage back on here just so I can show you guys how we create this. So, all right, so now we have our raw clip here. We're gonna go to effects controls, select our clip, and then we're gonna click on this pen tool right here. In order to get this super precise, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in 150% here. And what I'm gonna do is start making points around my bottle. This is really important and you'll see why in creating this effect. Now, obviously right now, just for the point of this tutorial, I'm not gonna be as precise as I was when I first did this. Uh, but just so you guys can get an understanding of how I created this clip and how everything came together to create a really cool special effect. I'm just gonna redo this for you guys, oops. See, I'm not being that precise at all. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom past this so you guys can just see the finished product. All right, so now we have a really rough mask around our bottle. If I select out of the mask, you can see I kind of cut off a little bit of the sides here. So obviously when I did this for the real thing, that, that was a lot more precise. So now that we have that, that's gonna be super important. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our light reveal here. So we have our bottle just masked out. There's nothing else there. Now in our raw clip, we have the dark side of the bottle before I turn the light on and then we have the light side of the bottle when the light turns on. So in order to create the effect that the light is sweeping across and revealing the bottle, we needed to create a mask that was going to swipe across the bottle and do the same exact thing. So what I did was just create a square box around our keyed out bottle here, or our masked around bottle, and I just took a screen grab of the dark side and the light side. And what I did was just put the dark side up here and extend that and then I had our light reveal down on below. 
And so what I did was just create a mask path. And as you can see here, if I select the mask, that mask path just slides across. And as the mask uh, comes off of the dark side of the bottle, we reveal our light bottle underneath. So that's all fine and dandy, but how did we get our light actually sweeping across the bottle? So the original idea was actually to use stock footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back to our original clip here, and I'm gonna show you what the stock footage looked like. So let me type in uh, spotlight, I already have it in here. Yes, we're gonna drag that on top of our clip here, scale that to size, and then I'm gonna go over here to my effects tab and search for ultra key, and then we will drag that on here. And then we're just gonna key out that green color. And I'm not gonna spend too much time messing with this because obviously we didn't use this. We're actually gonna drag this clip below here too. But as you can see, this is kind of what I was gonna go with. And I was gonna put the blend mode to screen maybe, drop the opacity. And this is kind of what our shot was gonna be before we had that mask revealing it and whatnot. And as you can see, it just kind of looks superimposed. It looks kind of mechanical. It doesn't look very good at all. Um, and I wasn't happy with that. So what I actually did was get my backdrop back out and set my camera back up and just record me sweeping the light across the screen in order to create a very similar effect, but something that I felt was going to look a little bit more natural. I could set my frame rate and my exposure the exact way I wanted it. Um, and that just, to me, made it look a lot better. So let's go ahead and actually see what that video looked like. We're going to drag that video onto our masked out bottle here instead of the spotlight. Let me delete that right here. All right, so let's drag our let's drag our real footage onto that. We're gonna actually put that below here because we want it to be our backdrop. Now, obviously, we'll have to play around with the position and the movement of this light as well. But you can already see that this looks way better than our stock footage. Um, it looks way more natural to me. And if we just play around with the settings here, like dropping the opacity on that video and whatnot, you'll see that that makes it look even better. Now, this still isn't done though, because what you'll notice is that since I masked completely around the bottle, I actually got rid of that glass reflection that I had when I shot this in camera. But I thought it would look better to create a fake reflection and a fake table. So all I did to achieve that was actually click right here on our light sweeping clip and make an inverted mask around the bottom here. And what that's gonna do is just have the light in the background up here above that, but it's going to create a complete black bar on the bottom that almost looks like a table. And so what I did to create the reflection was go here and select our clip. We're gonna duplicate our clip by holding down Alt on the keyboard and dragging it below the clip. And we're gonna go over here and search for vertical flip. We're gonna drag the positioning down, lower the opacity, and boom. Now we have a reflection. Now that is actually how we created our opening shot. Now I will admit a lot of the editing that went into this video went into that first shot, but there are still a lot of other details that make a video stand out and look really professional and clean. So let's check out some of the other little things that I did in this video. So if we take a look at our shot right next to this, actually, we see that this kind of looks like a stock footage overlay, which is something that I have used a lot in the past. But um, for this shot, I actually wanted to get this all in camera. So what this actually is, is just me spraying the bottle with water and a bit of glycerin and I shot this at 120 FPS so that we were able to slow it down on the timeline here and give it that slow motion look throw our color grade on it and that's what we get so a lot of these clean simplistic things are not that hard and even if you didn't do that in camera you could always use stock footage to create a very similar looking effect now taking a look at this other clip on the other hand I actually did use stock footage for this so this is actually a stock footage clip of a water droplet falling down overlaid on top of the bottle here um, so what I did if we just click double click on this to open that nested clip well actually there's two nested clips in here so we're gonna click on that and here we're gonna have our green screen overlay and if I go ahead and toggle the beer layer off you'll see exactly what I have overlaid here and there is a mask on this clip with a ton of feather to make it blend as much as possible and we also set the blend mode back to normal here so you can see uh, this is what it would look like if I didn't have the blend mode set to screen so obviously it looks a lot more natural and blended in when we set that blend mode to screen. Now moving on to this bottle cap shot actually, uh, this shot didn't go as planned as usual, but in order to make it look better, I actually shot that overhead shot of the bottle opening, which I think made the whole sequence look a lot better. But if we actually look at the raw footage, you'll see that this is just a bottle cap glued to a skewer. I'm twirling 
it around in my hands to give it that movement. And then after we did that, I actually just went into After Effects, uh, searched for simple wire removal, remove that stick, and then added some rotational keyframes and a smoke overlay, scaled it up a bit, and that's what we got. So again, those tiny little details that you put into your work are really going to make it look clean and more professional. And that is a super simple effect that you can use for a lot of different things. I highly recommend learning simple wire removal. It's one of the best tools that After Effects has for product videos. And that is going to wrap up today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to hit the thumbs up, click that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you all in the next video.